Guys, welcome to an extremely exciting video. I apologize if there's any wind noise, there's not much we can do about it. But today, we are going to be comparing a 911R to a 991.2 GT2 RS. Two of the greatest 911s we've seen in the recent past. Now, if you have a bunch of money, right, and you wanna buy a 911, which is the best 911 for you? These two cars started off the same base, the 911 base we've known for many, many, many years, but in many ways, they could not be more different. We have the visceral, naturally aspirated beast in terms of the 911R, and we have the turbocharged track killer in terms of the GT2 RS. Now, the main difference between these two cars, one is turbocharged, one is naturally aspirated, one has a manual, one has a dual clutch PDK. So the 911R, we'll talk to you about it a bit more when we're driving, we're gonna take that out first, and then we're gonna go out in the GT2 RS. But the main difference you can see when they're standing here is the aero. The GT2 RS has a lot more aero than the 911R, whether it's from that huge rear wing to the scoops in the hood, and on the fenders, it has a lot more downforce than the 911R. Okay, so we can tell there are a few differences on the interiors as well. This being the Visac pack car, it is fully stripped out. You have carbon fiber, Alcantara all over the place, the red stitching. Both these cars are owned by my friend Andrew at Zalazin on Instagram. Give him a follow. You can see that this is pretty stripped out. Now, on the RS models, they are fully sort of made up for the track, but they're still pretty usable. So you still got your sat nav and you still got quite a few amenities, which mean you could use this car on a slightly more daily basis. Now, when we get into the R, and now the main difference is you'll notice at first, there is nothing here, just a storage bin. That is to save extra weight. And then on the interior, you've also got this houndstooth, which arcs back to the old 911s. Now the 911R, comes from a car in the 60s which was all about lightweight and the sort of visceral feeling now this car has the main difference of having a manual gearbox right here six speed manual which is one of the best manuals in the world so i think we should just kick it off by taking this car for a ride okay guys we are gonna kick this video off in the 911r before hopping into the gt2 rs andrew owner of both cars is going to walk us through this comparison as well but the first way and the best way I can describe in about 20 seconds what this car's like is by dropping it down a couple of gears. One more. And doing that. Because this is what makes the 911R so special. It's the engine and the gearbox and the way the two work together. Because this is one of the most beautiful with this gearbox is probably one of the best combinations any German genius has ever managed to bring to life. It is fantastic. Now this car, the big difference is that it is naturally aspirated and that it has the manual gearbox so it's much more engaging. So you have a lot of money to spend on a 911. If you want the most engaging one, not necessarily the fastest because GT2 RS as we know is faster. But this is more of a visceral experience, isn't it? Yes. And it brings you to life. This will make the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. And it will also make you feel like you're an absolute hero. So this car is extremely light. If you want to see my full sort of review and the history behind this car, there's going to be a link somewhere so you can experience that and hear me talk 
popping in a few quirky things around the outside. First of all, these ducts in the front here. Now these actually go straight and you can look all the way down to the brakes from here. These little vents are to get turbulent air out of the wheel arches and help sort of make this car just an absolute beast on track. It's got the air vents here to cool down the engine and the turbochargers and an absolutely massive rear wing. In Visac pack, it is fully carbon fiber. Now the exhausts are actually the easiest way to tell this apart from any other RS. It's got dual exhaust rather than the central ones. And when you see that, as well as the GT2 RS logo here, which is a sticker to save weight, you know that this thing means business. end of the video 911R which is right behind me here or GT2 RS which is over there um, what a day what an absolute experience to be able to compare the two we've also just filmed the video with the Carrera GTs but I hope you enjoyed that comparison let me know comment down below which car you'd have out of those two 911R for me that's what I would say guys you know why I just explained it but thanks for watching as per usual it was it actually was like quite a quick video. We didn't have that much time to film it, so I hope it came across okay. I don't really know. It all happened so, so fast. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>